Welcome back to the Booty Bands More Than Fitness podcast. I'm your host, Danita Young, and today we're interviewing Alyssa. She is a Booty Bands member, and she's now in the accountability program, and she's going to be teaching us how she has been breaking the cycle of feeling like a failure, that not good enough loop, and getting rid of those past negative self-beliefs. So it's been really awesome to experience just her transformation right before my eyes. Let's go into it. Booty Bands and Barbells helps busy women sculpt and tone their bodies in just 15 minutes a day through our physical products and our one-on-one coaching. Going through and just really learning each other. Um, one thing that I remember is that you talked about a trigger of having to always kind of prove yourself. You mentioned that you were always an athlete. I competed with my older sister. So mm-hmm. usually a sibling is when we start uh, finding this competition. And it might even actually be the way that our parents kind of almost put us against each other as well. Did that happen? Like your parents kind of instill that or no? I know. I don't think so. I think it just happened. I mean, we're not even two years apart or after high school, we were best friends, but I don't think she competed with me. I just competed with her. One of the things that we found with um, with just going into your cycle and, and understanding for repetition of your habits and thoughts that come into your feelings, that come into your actions, was you were triggered when you were a child and you always had to prove yourself. And you gained weight after your first kid. And then you obviously had a really hard experience with your husband that led to a lot of feelings of I'm not enough and I'm just a failure. What type of thoughts after that led into what other thoughts do you remember those thoughts that we had trailed down just identifying that cycle i let the thoughts of what have happened in the past come in and then cycle through it but i'm not enough i'm a failure just go you know cycle around yeah exactly what you're experiencing and right now your nervous system is still holding on to those beliefs that's why obviously you're going through a feeling right now so thanks for sharing that and and tears can be a form of completion and so it's beautiful to share that form of completion with us right now And so, yeah, some of the things you had mentioned before was just like, fuck it, or that apathy phase. If you guys know what that means, that basically just means you kind of just lose feelings in general and you just are so overwhelmed, you almost shut off. Yeah. And some of the feelings after that you had mentioned before, overwhelm, sadness, emptiness, things like this, right? Mm -hmm. Any other feelings that you can think of that came up during that time? Probably, you know, resentment, anger. (laughs) Yeah. Absolutely. For sure. I could see that. And then some of the actions were when you're in that low void is when we go to like the comfort eating or the extremes of like, you don't eat at all. Or when we do eat, it's it's comfort. And then we really go into that isolation, can't sleep, or you stay up really mm-hmm. late. All right. So we end up finding ourselves doing things because we're feeling things. But see this awareness of you being so hard on yourself and being busy all the time and piling more things on your plate and overcompensating. And you said, how many years were you stuck in this? Oh, probably 20. Yeah. And that's what I commonly hear. I mean, working with women that are maybe in their 40s that they've mm-hmm. been in it for about 20 years. What we found was we we brought you to your higher self and we were able to find your truth. Do you remember some of those phrases that you found in your truth? From what I focus on right now, that I am enough and that I'm not a failure and I'm enough because I'm me. Yeah. And we got to that point because we have to go back to the events mm-hmm. in our life that we created these belief systems about ourselves, And we almost have to go back to each one of those times and go, okay, what really happened here? And I asked you like, are you really not enough? Or was that somebody else projecting something on you? Mm-hmm. What did you uncover? Was it you or if it was somebody else? Kind of like uncovering of just like going back to those stories in your life. I've noticed just a pattern of the kind of people that have been in my life and they've all allowed me to have that, that false belief. And so I've kind of noticed that trend and I know that it's not me. Yeah. And that goes into the reticular activating system, that filter that we went into, right? Uh Didn't we do that exercise Uh with each other? Let's do that exercise with each other. I thought that was actually really groundbreaking. Let's go into it. So everybody that's listening right now on the call, we're going to do an activity and you all have to participate because if you don't, then it's not going to be as fun. Okay. So everyone participate. Got this from uh, my my girl, Cindy is sitting right next to me right now. When you got a friend that like 
takes you to that next level. It's your environment, right? So you have to really search for Uh those people that are going to start to challenge your thoughts. Is it really true that you're not enough? So anyways, um, she taught me this thing about like the rose colored glasses that we go into what's called a filter. And it's actually scientific in part of our brain. It's called the reticular activating system. And what it is, is our brain has to be able to filter things because if it took everything in equal value, our head would literally explode off of our shoulders. So we have to like filter in what we bring into our our minds. I'm going to show you how this filter actually works right here, right now. So everybody that's listening on the call right now, I want you to go ahead and close your eyes. Okay, good job. You did it. All right. Now, second step, I want you to open your eyes. Okay. Now in your house right now, or wherever you're at, maybe car, house, whatever, you're, maybe you're at work. I want you to look at everything, the color orange, just any shade, any color orange. Now go ahead and close your eyes as tight as you can. Can't think of anything else. Just think about that color orange. Now I'm going to ask you, without opening your eyes, what was the color gold? Oh, I did notice that. A pair of shoes. Which is great. Now open your eyes and tell me if there's anything gold in your house right now. There's there's several things. So remember that we did that activity with each other that even though it actually does exist, we weren't filtering it into our mind. Mm -hmm. That means is... There could be a belief system that we have, and even though we're not focused on it, doesn't mean it's not there. So Mm -hmm. when we went into the belief system of I am enough, you've been focusing for 20 years of I'm not enough in order to go, is it really possible that I am enough, realizing that what you've created a belief system of and then provoke and distorting reality of the friends or or environment that we create Mm -hmm. to make that belief system even more true But really, when we start to open our mind, there is more possibilities and really to start diving into the belief system of I am successful. I am enough. I am whole. What came up for you when we did that that first time? I don't think I saw the other color. I get what you're saying definitely about that that filter and creating that environment. And I think that's one thing that I had struggled with over this last weekend is that realization Mm. And that I can't live like that anymore. But tell me what came up for you. I decided to talk to my husband again about cheating. And he told me it wasn't necessarily me. It was him. I knew that it was something that wasn't going to ever end. I met with a lawyer today to start on the divorce process. And it's been hard for me. Yeah. And do you think that being in a place of I'm whole and I'm enough that you're able to start making directions towards a more healthier version of you? Oh yeah. I I don't think I would have been able to do this if I wasn't in the place that I have worked so hard the last couple months to be in. Wow. Because it's easier to live with that filter. It's easier to just live with that old belief system I've known for so long. Yeah. Because it's comfortable. That's what we've known. Mm Mm-hmm. So to go outside of that comfort and be like, oh, there's a possibility that I am enough, start to really think about what now your thoughts, feelings, and actions, your actions is you're going to start making it so that nobody's going to start hurting you or taking advantage of you anymore. See Mm -hmm. how that's going to start to ripple effect about what the the priority that now what you put for yourself of how you're going to treat yourself is now going to be the expectation of how others outside of you are going to treat you. It's really beautiful. I'm really proud of you. It's really tough to go into the unknown. It really is. You're a fighter. You know that deep down. (laughs) You're a fighter. I can feel it. You're just stepping into it. I am so excited (laughs) for you. Wow. I didn't know you did that this weekend. So that's um, that's almost bringing me to tears right now. Holy shit. (laughs) Getting in control. You guys, this is what getting in control and taking your power back. Uh, You don't know what the future is. You don't know if he goes, you know what? Wow. You're a different person. And if that spirals and ripples effect into what happens and what the precedence is and and how people need to have the expectation of how they're supposed to treat you and all those things, it's, it's really beautiful. So thanks for sharing that. One of the things we also went over, I'd like to bring up uh, right now, is that we went over the thoughts that we're saying to ourselves, the excuses that come up that actually are going to be our truth. So whatever we say is our truth. So for example, if we don't have time, you're right. 
we're not going to have time. If we are don't have energy, you're right, we're not going to have energy. And if we're just going to say tomorrow, well, yeah, then tomorrow's going to be tomorrow and tomorrow's going to be tomorrow. So then we're always right, right? So that's right. Um, something that we really came up with. And it was uh, very insightful to kind of hear yours. And um, so I wanted to ask, what were some of the things that you were saying before? And what are some of the rebuttals now that you have to those? Oh, there's been many thoughts. And that's kind of what when I realized what was happening is I started, you know, those those negative thoughts started coming back of just, you know, oh, I'm not enough, just mainly along those lines. And and I thought I'm not going back there. I can't let that evil back into my mind. I gave myself a couple days of self-pity, but I decided, you know, to start pulling myself back out and getting rid of pushing that negative out and focusing on just the positive as hard as it is, but because that negative just clouds me. I don't know if that answered your question, but <laughs> yeah, absolutely. No, thanks for sharing out. that. Just being aware is the first step to really transforming your life because if you're not aware, then we just are totally not conscious mm -hmm. of really what's going on. And so being aware of what it is that we're saying, what we're excusing, right? Uh -huh. For you to create things to just happen. You had to have a belief system about yourself to not gain that strength. And some of the things that if we're saying, I don't have time or I'm not making myself a priority because, you know, what we started to see was most people that don't have time is because, yeah, they're not making themselves a priority. What they're doing is they're filling a lot of things on their plate mm -hmm. because they're trying to prove that they're enough by doing a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things as I've totally experienced and currently experiencing it, one of the things, anytime I add something to my plate as I go, is this coming from a place of wholeness or is this coming from a place of weakness? I remember that. Okay. So anything you add to your plate, ask yourself, why is it that you're adding it to your plate? Is it coming from that place of I'm not mm -hmm. enough? Or is it coming from that place of I am enough? And that's what's really helped me start to set what those boundaries are that we've uh -huh. been talking about, right? All right. What else comes up for you? I think the, the boundary thing is, is in, very important. And it's definitely been something I've been working on to identify and categorize the things that that I'm doing. Is it because I need to or is it because... I'm just doing it to add something more. I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm starting to get into that process. I've been kind of pushed into it, but <laughs> not by you, but just by life circumstance. I think it kind of accelerated the process, but I'm glad that I had already had it started, which in a way I think I kind of knew was going to happen because that's why all of this fell into place. Mm -hmm. So I think it was just inevitable, but I'm, if it would have happened four months ago instead of a week ago, would not be dealing with it in the same way. Wow. So let's show people how we can get to our higher self and our truth. We've done this a couple times with each other. So let's just show them. So I want you to go ahead and place your hand on your heart. Take a nice, good, deep breath in through the nose. Hold it up at the top. And then when you're ready, exhale. Push it out through your mouth. Let's do that five more times. So inhale through the nose, feeling your whole body with just this beautiful, free, abundant oxygen. And then exhaling at your own pace. Same thing, just really calming and centering your body, breathing in, connecting to your higher self or whatever you want to call it. Good. Two more. As oftentimes we get stressed, we restrict oxygen and that restricts it from our brains. And then we don't think as clear. So now when we can get to a place of really thinking clear, take that last good deep breath and then hold it up at the top and then exhale it out whenever you're ready. And in this place of your higher self and everybody that's listening right now, you can do this with us. Really think about all the events that have happened to your life. It's such a big world. And we felt so small coming into it. 
but our mind doesn't like the unknown. So it creates these beliefs. And oftentimes we find that they're actually not ours. They're not our truth. They were false beliefs that we've been living. And when we have those thoughts, it's created a feeling. And when a false belief will create a false feeling leading into false actions, it doesn't really feel like it's us. We don't feel like we're in our alignment, I guess you could call it. And that's the fear vibration. It is a low frequency. It doesn't connect to our human DNA. And we don't feel like it's us. But as soon as we tap into a love vibration, it's the opposite of fear. It's a high frequency, and it actually connects to our human DNA strand. That's why we feel so like ourselves when we're in our love vibration. And so as we look through our life, the last 20 years of living these belief systems that aren't ours, going to your truth right now, I want you to really speak from your heart, not your mind. You tell me what your heart says of who you really are. Starting off with I am. It's one of the most powerful statements you can make to the universe. What would you say that is, Alyssa? I am fill in the blank. I am beautiful. I am enough. I am more than enough. I am kind and loving. And I am strong. Feel that now. Feel that through every cell of your being. Breathe that in as you are now in your highest self, your truth, letting go of the past 20 years. And anytime a feeling of guilt and shame come up, just always say to yourself, you did the best of what you were given. And that's okay. So now we go into the forgiveness, which is now the next step in your journey of forgiving yourself of what we've done in the past 20 years. So if you could think of what that looks like, what you need to say to yourself, if you don't mind sharing with us, what would be a forgiveness statement that you can say to yourself right now? For me, it's probably just forgiving myself for not only the the choices that I've made, but forgiving myself for allowing those choices. <laughs> and that the past is the past. I can't change it. I can't go back and erase everything that have happened. But I also can't bury it. I have to deal with it and I have to overcome it and make sure it just doesn't happen again. And I can't do that without forgiving myself first. Thanks for sharing that. A couple things that I think of that brought up for me was, how do we really know a good day if we haven't had a bad day? Yeah. (laughs) So sometimes those polar opposites, uh, we don't like them, right? Mm -hmm. (laughs) They weren't there. But if they didn't exist, how would we really move forward and actually see this beauty that really is around us when we used to not see it before? It has so much of a beautiful essence. And if you're not there yet, mark my words, you'll get there. When you go to the rock bottom, you'll see the opposite. And that really is the duality, that polar that I believe we're all having an experience with. So thank you for sharing your forgiveness and your self-love as this is like your journey towards it. And what we do know is that your body follows your mindset. So all of a sudden, weight loss or toning and getting stronger and the confidence and the self-love, all that is just a triple ripple effect right after the positive mindset Mm -hmm. that you're already doing. And so often women don't realize that they're focusing so much of the nutrition and the workouts, yet their mindset is telling them that they're they're not enough and that they're a failure. They see why they eventually start to hit those plateaus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Makes a lot of sense. Yes, it does. I've experienced it. Yeah. You were a personal trainer yourself is what you said coming into Mm -hmm. it, right? Mm Mm-hmm. And you're like, what is that? I'm hitting a block. I'm hitting some roadblock. And this was really beautiful to hear that you're going in your uncomfortable places because that's where your growth is. That's where we Mm -hmm. become strong. When we're in the resistance and we're going towards it, 
you're already going to start feeling that power, that control you're going to take back over your life and who you really are. Mm -hmm. So do that with love to yourself. Even do that with love towards others. But it's time for those really healthy boundaries and saying, I deserve this because I'm enough. I am lovable. I'm worthy. I'm deserving. That's your truth. That is everybody's truth listening right now, even on this call. Believe it or not. Mm -hmm. When we really get down to the root of it, that is your truth. You are the essence of straight purity. So thank you so much for sharing something so vulnerable. Because I do have to admit, there's a lot of women that are actually struggling with infidelity as well. And for them to hear that you've got some strength to actually make that next step. Wow. And what I want you to do is I want you to hold your truth the whole way through. I want you to put your hand on your chest and I want you to breathe and I want you to come back (laughs) to who you really are the whole way through. And I want you to know you have a whole community of badass, uplifting, supportive women behind you. And that's your community. And you come back to your community as many times as you need to. And we're going to support you through this entire journey. You're not going to be alone. You're going to have the support you need. Thank you. Very welcome. So much. So if you could just tell somebody that is listening, that is struggling with the old version of you, I'm not enough. I'm a failure. I'm not deserving, not worthy. They're having those same feelings. What would you say to them? You have to make it a choice to switch your mind. You have to, and it doesn't come right away. And some days will be good and some days won't. But the more you try, the more you try to change that mindset, that change eventually starts to happen and you feel it and you see it. And you become stronger and you can make more sound and mindful decisions and know that everything is going to be okay. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your time. Thank you for being vulnerable and sharing that so it can help another woman own her truth as well, like you have. Okay. You're loved and your community is always here. So you have an amazing rest of your day and we'll chat soon. Okay. Thanks. Bye. You're You're so welcome. So I have really never stuck with anything for more than six months until I found Booty Bands Barbell. It's life-changing. The progress over perfection mindset has been so life-changing. Have self-love and to have self-worth. I just do the 10 minutes and I'm already reaping the benefits. The workouts are fun and that they're effective. I have seen great results that I never thought I'd ever see. I love it because I'm keeping the weight off. We help hold each other accountable as they commit to our goals. Booty Bands and Barbells has really changed my life for the better. I have to be real with you. The past six months really took a toll on me and my body. I felt incredibly stressed, isolated. After being a good 12 to 13 pounds heavier, I said, that's it. I'm going to make healthy choices. And I'm happy to tell you today that I am actually down 15 pounds. I feel amazing. I feel like I lost fat and put on muscle. I have a lot more energy. So it's never too late to start. You can take control again. Thanks, Booty Band Nation. Positive that you will get more sculpted, more toned, and you're going to love those new healthy changes and our community and our coaches. From where you're at, no matter where you are, or how long you've been in the position. So just click the button below to book the call with our team.